Welcome back. Thanks, Abby. Chris Mason, yeah, the pace setter in this group. And having been the standard setter for most of the week, he's looking very, very good for a place at finals night. But that could start to change here because Gary Robson is only two points behind Mason and a win for him would see him pull level on points, close a little bit of that leg difference gap and also leave Mark Layton and Barry Bates two points behind the pair of them with a game in hand, although that game is against each other after this one. Indeed. And on a Thursday, when we get to game four, this is where we will see the group develop. This is where we're going to see the patterns begin to emerge. First if Chris Mason can win this first. game, game on. put himself onto eight points, he puts himself about halfway there already. But Gary Robson has One other ideas. That 180 so quick from 16. Gary Robson, the camera was still zooming. Can't get the technology, can't get the staff these days, Murph, can we? You've been a little bit harsh towards our staff here at the Super Series today, Henry. Nah, they're a very good bunch, aren't they, Murph? With one exception. One on the end, 34. Well, how about this, though, for a start? 100. Maximum ton, ton, to leave himself on one, two, one after nine. And Mace, despite a one, three, four of his own, and potentially more here. 140. Gary, you require 121. He's left himself on one, six, seven after nine. Gary Robson, one, two, one. Downstairs he goes. Trouble 17 would have left himself a dart at the ball. 53. Chris, you require so for Chris Mason, 167. Only one way to go for this. And that's not it. Gary Robson did beat Chris Mason when they met yesterday. A 4 2 success for Robbo. In Mason's worst performance statistically of the week. Doesn't look like he'll be following suit here. It's a strong start by the pair of them. 36. Chris, you require well, Chris Mason wants. 102, upstairs first. The treble 20 was what he wanted. He'll go across to either treble 14. Tops, right at the very top of the board. 62. Gary Unicorn. And so Gary Robson 32. returns for double 16 to take the opening leg. Double eight. Yeah, that's game shot in the first leg. Gary Robson. So Robson takes the first leg. Second leg, it's Chris at throw first. Game on. Well, this is a decent start to leg two for Mason. One on the end, 40. 140 there for Mace the ace. One hundred. Well, this is a proper darting scrap. Here. Mason averaging a ton. Gary Watson averaging 90. 91. Now, we put Norris and Mace as the top two in our group predictions at the start of the day. We both put Gary Robson third. 79. There's always a reason why you put people in the top three places, because you feel they're going to do something. Well, Gary Robson... Is probably playing his best darts of the week today. 83 and a half oh, against Walton. As Mason piles in his first max of the match. An 89.76 against Norris. And 41. then in that defeat Chris to Leighton, a deviation to, to 80. But he's playing some good stuff today. But he may find himself back level. And so up for double 12 we go. 66. Yeah, this is a great leg of darts from Chris Mason. Are you lavishing purple pros on Gary Robson? Mason has just missed a dozen darter. 40. 
So then, Mace has left himself on double 12 after 12. He's got the luxury of time. Yeah, and there it is. It goes Chris in first Mason. dart to the middle to left-hand corner of the bed. And so Chris Mason levels us up at one apiece against Gary Watson. Like it's going to throw first. Game averaging 103.07. Yeah, fabulous response to dropping that leg. You know what, Alan Norris 16. might already be in the position where he now hopes that Chris Mason beats everyone below him and just starts to pull away, so he stays closer to that second place. The likes of Barry Bates and Mark Layton 96. wouldn't really mind Robson getting a win here and keeping it tightly bunched between the four of them. Completely agreed. 99. It's easier to chase one spot but knowing that there's less points in play than chasing two with a large chasm. Forty three. And of course you can get in contact with us here at the Motors Super Series across our social media channels. It's at MSS Darts. We've had plenty of comments, plenty of interest to the action today. Even had a tweet from your commentary colleague Matthew Edgar. Um, come on to one of us, give us a worldy joke. He set the bar this week, but I'm I'm staying away from that domain. Yeah, not not gonna try and rival Matthew Edgar. What's your, what's your best darts joke? I haven't got a darts 59. joke. I've got I've got puns elsewhere. Maybe I'll share one in the next leg. Non darts related. Anyway, back to the action because Robson, one four three after twelve, still on. Downstairs we go. Trouble seventeen. Needs himself on 66, 87. so moved across Chris for triple 10 to leave double 18. 64. Chris Mason wants 164 for a 2 1 lead. Robo will return for this 56. It's been an exchange of holes Gary, you require thus 56. far. Topsy wants. Uh, Topsy gets. Gary Robson, Robson leads 2 1. It's all gone with the throw. Thus far in this match, and if that trend Ford continues, like Chris Mason should win leg game. four. Well, it looks like already he's intending to respond in the same way that he did in leg two. 140. That can be a little theme for the day, by the way. We had one yesterday on movies. Why not get involved at MSS Darts on Twitter? Tell us your favourite darts. 85. Jokes. Henry's still annoyed with me after that time I put super glue on his dart. Just can't let it go, can you? One hundred and forty. I've got nothing. I've actually got nothing. Yeah, the silence was deafening. Chris Mason once again doing damage. As soon as he's lost a leg, he's regrouped. Forty-five. Battle hardened. Chris Mason suddenly a bit of a fighter at the Super Series. One forty to open. One forty to follow. 60. And then 60 to get to get himself down to a finish after nine. I'll tell you what, I've got one. Go on quick because Chris Mason's going to take out 161 when he comes back. I bought the wrong flights to a darts match once. It all went pear shaped. 138. Chris, you require 161. When are you telling your joke? <laughs> 89. I can't see it going pear shaped for Chris Mason in this leg. Very, very good standard of slinging from Mace the Ace. So he's got choices on 72. And I guess it will be treble 16, but it could be treble 12, treble 20. Which requires 72. So 16 is the intended target. So another one of them leaves him one dart at double top. 52. But that drags below. He is going to return for double 10 with Robson all the way back on 192 to continue our theme of holds in this particular matchup. 100. Chris, you require 20. Double 10. Yeah, that's game shot. Nicely the done. Back. Chris Mason. By Chris Mason, who squares it up. We are having a real darting flare up here between this pair. Fifth flag, it's Gary to throw Mason first. Game playing on. better on his legs than Robson is on his, so it's a Jess, but there will come an opportunity 
for Mason to break in one of the final three. One, Although unlikely oh, that that opportunity will come in this one after a perfect start from Robson. Eighty one. Can you follow up, Gary? No is the answer. Now, you know I like a little bit of trivia in the commentary box. You like a little bit of trivia in the commentary box as well, Murph. Chris Mayton, a man from Bristol. Gary Robson, a man of Newcastle upon Tyne. Now, to the nearest 10, One I want you to tell 40. me how many miles there is between Bristol and Newcastle upon Tyne. You got to the end of the next leg. Nearest 10. To the nearest 10. 59. I'm going to go for Bristol to Newcastle. I'm going to go for about 370 miles. 93. Get your guesses in at NSS Darts on Twitter. So I'm not within 10 then. I've heard one or two. 46. I've heard one or two people in, in my ear say something that isn't too far off. Sixty. Gary, you require one hundred and thirty-nine. One three nine for Robson. Back up for the twenties after hitting the single nineteen. Well, Macy is left on the one two seven and game for a break of throw. I'm going to make an argument Chris though, Henry. Depends which way you go, doesn't it? Fifty-seven. That's the way he's going to find the ball. One on the end, two. Gary, you require 40. Yeah, I, I think I went too high with my guess. Gary Robson's gone too yeah, high with that dart, but that one flag. Gary Robson. is pinpoint. And now Mason must win the last two. Six slack, it's Chris to throw first. Game on. He's been in no danger, has he, on his own throat? He's been excellent. He does not like that start. In fairness, that's kind of been the story of the match. Neither really troubled a break so far. One hundred and twenty-one. He could lose here, Chris Mason, with an average of more than ten points more than his opponent. Ninety-five point nine, sorry, ninety-five point six five plays eighty-two point six seven right now in favour of Mace. Looking very comfortable, though, with the darts here. Oh, Looking no, perfect with the darts here. Well, he soon put that right, didn't he? A one with his first dart of this one leg. Of 40. Every other dart has been in the treble 20. Five perfect darts. And it's put him in a privileged position in the sixth leg. 100. Leaves himself on a ton after nine. To send us the distance once again in this compelling Group C. 45. Chris, you require 100. 17s. 76. Leaves himself double 12. Sixty-three, Chris, you require Fifty percent strike rate on this double this week. Only gets one at it. It's now double six. Yeah, that's game short in the six leg. Which he's actually Chris got Mason. an even better return on. Goes a distance once again. Seven Mason and final leg is won his last match first. in a last on. leg decider against a throw. Sorry, his match before the last one. That one against Mark Layton. Won a little bit more convincingly, didn't he, against 100. John Walton. Well, this is for four wins out of four. One hundred. Excellent last start, especially when you consider the placement of the first two. Had to find a way to sneak that in the treble bed. There's not much sneaking about that. That was a perfect first dart live for Gary Robson. One hundred. An exchange of tons at the beginning of this deciding leg. One 
100. And the trend continues. Sixteen. As we're poised in the last leg, we'll give you the answer to the quiz question at the start of our next matchup. All focus here on this last leg, where Chris Mason is looking to make hay, is looking to make an imprint, 40. and he is going to be the first to have finished after nine, leaving one six one. But what can Robbo respond with? Earlier this week, we saw Chris Mason produce Chris, really good performances, not always convert them into wins. Today, he's won every single game he's played. And he is going to leave himself handy. One on the end, and only allow Gary, Gary Robson a chance at 1-4-1. And he can't afford a stumble. And so Mason will return for double 12. We'll go across to the 16s here, Robson. And so Mason now, double 24. 12. Game to make it shots, four animates, wins Chris from Mason. four. And Chris Mason is beginning to emerge as the player to beat here at the Super Series in Group C. Have a look at that free dart average, 99.09. Two maximums to his name. Four from nine on the doubles, a checkout ratio of 44.44%. It's all about the fours. Four legs, four wins. Chris Mason is the man at the top of Group C. We're going to take a short break here on Sporty Stuff TV. Afterwards, Chris Mason's going to be chatting with Abigail Davis up on the balcony for some analysis.